I use this antidote because friendship, especially as an adult, is hard. Why it's so hard to make friends as an adult? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting ready because I'm on my way to watch a movie with one of my dearest friends to celebrate her birthday. She'll be having a baby in the next few weeks, so this is quite possibly the last time I'll get to see her before she gives birth and everything changes. This friend of mine is named Sammy and she's a friend that I made when I lived in California. We met through team and training as we each trained for our respective marathons. She was training for the Chicago Marathon and I was training for the Nike Women's Marathon in San Francisco. I genuinely don't know how or why the two of us clicked, but we did. And I say this because if you met us individually, you'd never think that the two of us are friends. She is an incredibly warm, bubbly and externally happy presenting woman. I am not. But something about us came together to form a bond. And fun fact, she was fast. Once again, I was not. So we weren't even running together for those many hours that we were running. When they moved to France, I had the opportunity to visit them twice. She and her husband, Tom, invited me to their wedding 10 years ago. Even over the distance and time zones, we stayed friends. Then she moved back to the States while I was still on the West Coast. And now we are only separated by the silly Hudson River because she lives in Jersey. Gross. Just kidding. But yes, it's hard for us to see each other even though we are nearby. And I imagine it's not going to get any easier once baby Nunzi arrives into the world. However, we're both dedicated to this friendship and making it work as our lives evolve. I use this antidote because friendship, especially as an adult, is hard. With that, today we're talking about something that's been on my mind for a while. Why it's so hard to make friends as an adult, like seriously. Am I the only one who feels this way? I, I don't think so. When we're kids, friends are almost automatic. We're all tossed into environments like school, sports teams, after school activities, where we spend a lot of time together. But as adults, it doesn't feel so easy. Why is that? One of the big reasons I think is that we're never really taught how to make friends. Think about it. Sure, we learn how to share and play nice in kindergarten, but no one gives us a roadmap for forming meaningful connections, especially later in life. Friendships just happen when we're young because we're in the same spaces, whether it's an after school program, family, friends, or neighbors, there's just no formal lesson on how to build and maintain friendships outside of those environments. So as adults, we're suddenly thrown into a world where making friends isn't automatic anymore. Another thing is that during adolescence and even early adulthood, a lot of friends are just built on proximity. Your best friend might've been the person you sat next to in class or someone you met at your first job. But as adults, the proximity factor starts to fade. We're no longer environments where we're consistently surrounded by people our age or with similar interests. I mean, how often do you bump into a potential friend at the grocery store? It's not exactly a daily occurrence. If we're being honest, another reason it's hard is because as we get older, we're busier and so are other people. Between work, family, and personal commitments, there's just less time to invest in friendships. And when you meet someone cool, it can be hard to make time to hang out when both of your schedules are jam-packed. It's 
a real struggle. It's an honest challenge that we face as adults that we didn't necessarily have as children or adolescents. And let's not forget that friendships take effort. As kids, we really don't think about it as much, but as adults, building and maintaining relationships takes conscious work. There's scheduling, balancing life responsibilities, and honestly, just energy. Sometimes after a long day of adulting, the last thing you wanna do is try and connect with someone new. And as a single woman, I feel this in my bones because even I sometimes like, oh, do I really wanna do this right now? Do I really want to? Sometimes it's just a no, it's just a no. Here's the thing. I believe that making friendships as an adult is still possible. It just takes a different approach. We have to be more intentional about it and put ourselves out there and sometimes embrace the awkwardness of meeting new people. Whether it's joining a local sports group, attending events, or even starting with a simple coffee meetup. Making friends can happen. It just might take more patience and courage than we think. So if you're feeling like it's hard to make friends as an adult, just know that you're not alone. We are all navigating this together. It's okay if it feels awkward or challenging. In the end, those meaningful friendships are totally worth it. Thanks for watching and if you've got tips or stories about making friends as an adult, drop it in the comments and let's keep the conversation going and maybe, hey, we'll make some new friends in the comments. I will see you next time. And if you enjoyed this video or you want some of my own tips about things I've done to make friends, especially as I moved to New York and was in a new area, let me know. Like this video, share it with a friend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.